Live from the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center in Green Bay, this is Locker Room with Burt Griffin and George Koontz. Now your host, Burt Griffin. Good evening and welcome to another edition of Locker Room right here at the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center. Well, the Packers improving to 5-1 and one after getting a big win on the road over the Texans, and now they will host the Vikings at Lambeau Field next weekend. All right, joining me to talk about that, as always, in everything green and gold, along with the NFL, former Packers linebacker and the doctor of defense, Super Bowl champ George Cool. Good to see you, Burks. What's up, buddy? Got a little NFL alumni thing yes, going there. Yes, yes. It feels a whole lot better to talk on Tuesday. It's Victory Tuesday. Right. Especially when you win. Yes. And you know what? They jumped out to a, a significant lead, kind of hung on at the end there, made things a little bit interesting, even though they hit a cushion, uh, four touchdown lead, and then obviously the Texans recovered the onside kick and all of that. But fast starts. This team with the scripted 15 plays or whatever it was, I know that was a Bill Walsh thing back in the day, um, they just seem to get the ball rolling right away. Best percentage in scoring on the opening drive of a game. I've never seen anything like it. You talk about Bill Walsh, but Coach Holmgren, that was his mantra as well. Uh, we're talking about six games uh, in a row now that the Green Bay Packers have scored on the first drive. You can't start no faster than that. Well, and again, more than 30 points. Not so coincidentally, when they score all five of them, I have victories when right. they score more than 30 per game. Exactly. You know, you look at the Tampa Bay game. Uh, the one thing, the, the silver lining is uh, they was up 10 nothing at the end of the first quarter against the, tech, the Texans. They was up 10 nothing at the end of the first quarter and then subsequently 21 nothing at halftime. Well, and last week, you know, I don't know what words you want to use to describe Aaron Rodgers. You could say salty, kind of little, I don't know. He said today on the Pat McAfee show, it was the worst line of, line of questioning overall that he'd heard from the reporters, which we've never really have heard him take a shot at that. But when he's had a bad game, which he did against the Buccaneers, he rebounds and puts it away and usually is even sharper the next time out. One thing about Aaron Rodgers, he has a selective amnesia and he's a consummate pro. So if he has a bad game, look out for the next week. And you, you were searching for some words. I, I think I have a great word that we can use. Start yeah. tossing them around. Got to be careful, though. What is it? MVP. MVP? All right. Yeah. Him and West, uh, Russell Wilson and Patrick Mahomes, probably those three right now. You I, looking at that? I think those three are leading the pack. But also, too, uh, Russell Wilson, I don't think that's uh, sustainable. Patrick Mahomes, they have a really good football team. But I don't, I don't think the Seattle Seahawks can keep that pace up. But I know the Green Bay Packers can. 